All right, guys, so we got a pretty exciting vlog this week. We're gonna install some coilovers on the Civic Type R here, but not just any kind of coilovers. We're gonna install RSRs. Let's go. All right, you guys, we're going into this build. You guys are probably wondering why I went with RSRs. So for this build, I wanted to have more of a street car rather than track oriented. So I wanted the comfort when I wanted, and then when I wanted, let's say, more of a spirited driving, I wanted that option too. And RSR was the best of both worlds, right? It's, it has the comfort, it retains the active dampening that comes with the car from, from the manufacturer where other coilovers don't. Uh, it's just a delete kit. Um, the other thing is the build quality is built in Japan. Come on, you guys, can't build, you can't beat that, right? And this, it looks killer. Uh, once I open the box, I'll show you guys, it's just fantastic quality build. And uh, it's just at the right price point. And speaking of the price point, you guys, if you guys want a set of these, uh, this vlog is brought to you guys by my sponsor, Envision Auto Imports. They supply with all the parts and everything, and uh, without them, you guys, some, some, some of this stuff can't happen just without the budget, right? So go check them out, you guys. If you guys want any kind of JDM or any kind of car parts, Envision and Gerald, uh, Gerald's team will be able to help you guys out sourcing all the parts for you guys. So check them out. You guys probably don't want me here hear me talking anymore. Let's get this vlog started. We got all the stickers. We got some tie rods. Look at this beauty. Used for the rear suspension. Ooh! Look at that. Look at that. Oh, got some, oh, got some weight to it. Jack that out. Okay, I'm just gonna put it all down here. I should have brought the uh, the weight scale, eh, Victor? Yeah. First, before we install, we gotta do the basic uh, measurements first. My good friend here, Victor, will explain to us uh, why we need these measurements. We wanna do it before and after. <laughs> See how actually how low the car went. This is just like a, like a base uh, baseline, right? Yeah, so, so stock here at 26.5 inches. That's the mark, that's the center line. And in the back, you're at 26.5 inches. So you want the center line, this is uh, lines up with the hub, right? Yeah, so we measure it again, pretty much, as long as it's close. That way we measure the same spot again. <laughs> Where's your regular ratchet? Yeah, look at this, guys. This is when you know the guy loves uh, his, uh, his car and don't want no scratches on the lug nuts. Since the uh, lug nuts are on loaner from uh, Sub-60 Racing, this is what we gotta do to uh, take some care to our uh, lug nuts so that they don't get all scratched up. So if you haven't watched my previous video, the tip from uh, Yifan was the locking lock is on the opposite side of the valve stem. Just like this one. The locking nuts here, across from the valve stem. That way it's easier to locate. So to start taking the stock suspension off, we gotta take the 17 here, and then there should be one more right here. Right? Yeah. That's the two that's holding it on, Victor. And then we have to undo this clip. And then we have to undo this piece here and take that off. And okay. then it'll drop. And then we have to undo this too. Okay. And this will be the, I think this is a 15. I think. So we got a, a 17, a 17. And then we got to undo the, uh, the dampening clip here. I believe, yeah, I believe that's the dampening clip. And then the brake caliper, uh, the brake line here which is this bolt right here. And that's, I believe that's a 12, that's a, I think it's a 12, but I'll double check. We'll double check. So after that, we gotta take off the, uh, um, this is the sway bar end link, and that's a 14 mil right there. All right, so you go ahead and remove the brake line bolt off the uh, bracket here, and that's held on by a 12 mil right there. Okay, up next, you gotta remove, uh, what is this one called, Victor? This is called the ride height sensor. And that'll give us enough clearance for the strut to uh, release here. And that's a 12 mil. Right here. So next, you wanna remove the end link here, and which is a 19, and that'll give us enough clearance for the uh, strut to drop out of the knuckle here. 
To give it enough clearance to get that through, you have to uh, release the other side of the sway bar here because it's pushing up and it's hitting the axle here. Hopefully the camera can see it. Look at that boys and girls. Look at how much clearance just by releasing the other side of the sway bar. Now that the sway bar is not pushing up against it. Look at all that clearance and so now we can release it. Without see, now you know why we have to release this because see how it's, it's bottomed out as well. Yeah. So you got to release the, that. You got to release this. You got to undo this. Yep. Both sides of the sway bar are the end links. Yeah. And then you have, and enough, room have enough room to pull it up. Yeah. So now it gives us enough that we can uh, pull this dried out now. So now we're going to release the three, three or is it four? Three. Three. 14 mil bolts up top here and we'll let this strap drop. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. So if you're me, I would have needed somebody else to hold the, the strut and then unloose the bolt. But if you're tall like Victor, you don't need that extra hand. There we go. One OEM Honda strut. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's put the, uh, the stock one next to the RSRs. Okay, so the right one, and you'll so see by where the position of the strut mount. Yep and where the tie rod or the mounts right Swaver here. Swaver right? The end link mounts here, so this, yeah. is, this one goes here. Yeah. So this is the, this will be the left one. And this will be your, the damping. Control. Yeah, the damping controls right here. Look at this, you guys. So do you, Victor, do we need to transfer anything of this over or this goes straight in? So we gotta use the stock hardware on the bottom and then the stock hardware up top, so the bolt up top. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Look at that, guys, look at the massive difference. You don't have to take the spring out, preset. That's the beauty about uh, RSRs. They're, they come preset, preloaded, and all we have to do is just install it. And I think the height was a one and a half inch drop, right? Yeah, one to 1.2 inches. We'll just verify that when we... Uh, once we put it on? Once we put it on the car. All right, so it's ready to go in. I got those first. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're just gonna loosely leave these loose so that it doesn't move around. And now we're gonna adjust, we're gonna install the strut back into the, uh, the knuckle here. So one of the things you gotta be careful for, so when you're putting in the RSRs, these have electronics and they have to go through the hole. So you gotta make sure you don't pinch it when you're putting them in. You want a mullet? A mallet? Yeah. Uh, no, she go. Because no, a, a mullet is on white, white people, right? White people got mullets. Oh, there you go. Just, just in, just like that. And that's the way it should go in. Shouldn't, you shouldn't be fighting with it. It should be just like that. Nice and easy. You don't need to remove the axle nut. And a lot of people are showing you guys doing it the hard way. This is the actual easiest way. Just we did a little bit of research and see, proof is in the pudding. The axle nut's still in, strut is in, or coilover is in, and now we're just bolting everything back in reverse order. And then we'll torque it. <laughs> it, look, it looks really easy because Victor's doing it, you guys. <laughs> it was me, we sweating all over, and uh, yeah, yeah. So they, what, what is this one again, Victor? This is the right height sensor. I keep on forgetting. Yeah. And now we're gonna adjust. Yeah. Now we're gonna install the, I don't know really what this is. If you guys know what it is, let me know what it is in the comments below. But uh, yeah, it's some extra. Oh, we have the replacement, Victor. Don't forget to. Uh... Yeah, let's put new ones in. Yeah, so RSRs supplied us, us with new Endlinks. Endlinks. And look how beautiful they are. It's even stamped RSRs right here. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. Beautiful. So don't forget to install those because we almost just did. I wonder what the difference is. Except the stamping. See, there's one with no stamping and then one end. I wonder what the difference is between the stock uh, one and the aftermarket uh, one is. It's the length, Victor. Oh, it's, it's shorter. shorter. Yeah, I got it. It's you. shorter. 
Yeah, so we'll have to take those off. Yeah, so now we have the two, the factory one and the RSR replacement. Uh, these are the sway bar end links, and there's a noticeable difference. Obviously, it's in the, uh, the length, and I'll let Victor explain to you. But Honda, on the Type R, this is actually pretty nice. These are actually made of aluminum, super light. Very nice. Are they lighter than the RSRs? Uh, I think the RSRs might be a little bit heavier. A little heavier, right? But these are, yeah, nice hollow, aluminum. So it does go on in a certain way, left and right, right, Victor? There is a left and a right. Okay. Right. Yep. And you then, uh, yeah, so make sure you guys match them up. And then two, there's the RSR label up top here. I don't know if you, I can catch it. I'll probably catch it on the other side. Yeah, there is a label there. And you need, you will need a five millimeter Allen key to hold it while you're tightening it. So you're tightening it. And that's what you use to take it off too, right? Yes. That five millimeter Allen key? Yeah, the five or millimeter takes it off and then you need it to put it back on. Yeah, because it was just a uh, free spin if you guys kind of notice. Like they're doing it right there. Get you a better angle. And he's using it there. Just like that. And then we'll leave the top one loose for now until we get everything on the other side assembled and then we'll finalize it with this side. Okay, Victor found the torque specs online at obviously Civic uh, 11 and it's a Facebook group, I mean a uh, forum. forum. And here we go, they gave it all to us here and uh, we're ready to go torque it up. And I'll give you guys a walkthrough of the torque specs while Victor does it. So we're gonna torque the two 17 mils here, holding the strut on at 47 foot pounds, right? Correct, yeah. We're gonna torque this collar. Make sure, because it was a little bit loose, we're gonna torque it to 90 foot pounds, or okay. 123 newton meters. Okay. So the way to do that is they give you the wrench, they give you a wrench, you put the, put the. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I get you it. What, you see what we're doing? That's kind of neat, eh, that they gave us that. Yeah, so you put that in there. So just to clarify, because we're doing it straight out of the box, it's already preset for us, the height and everything, that uh, we're gonna basically leave it for now. And then once we finish installing everything else, and then we're gonna adjust it from there, right, Victor? Yeah, but we wanna make sure it's torqued for it, because we have to drive it for a bit. You have to drive it for a bit and let, us, let the suspension settle, right? Yeah. So we wanna just make sure it's, a, it's, it's torqued to 90 feet. Ninety yeah. foot pounds, right? Ninety foot pounds. Ninety foot pounds. So up next, we have to put the uh, whatever this is back on, and then we'll torque it to uh, forty-seven foot pounds to tighten this bolt here. We need because it free spins. A Nineteen mil and an eight mil and an eight mil Allen key, and then it'll stop it from spinning. Yeah. yeah. And then there you go. So this is all done now, as far as we can go. So everything's all tightened and torqued to specs. And the only thing we're gonna do is leave this. We'll sway bar end link until we finish the other side and then come back to this side to torque it in. <laughs> All right, you guys. So it had to be a little bit of persuading, but uh, Realistically, because it's hitting against this sway bar here, so the axle is hitting this sway bar. So all Victor did was basically put a little bit of weight on it, and it pushed against this sway bar, and, and it really it did came out, you guys. So yeah, we we did. We have to release on the other side. We do have to loosen both sides. Yeah, yeah. So you have to keep both uh, sway bar end links off, and both toe links have to be kept and uh, off, off as well as the ride height sensor comes off, and then yeah. your brake. So. Uh, clamp your yeah. little holder here. So it does come off. So yeah, just put a little bit of weight on it and it will release. It helps if you have a lift. Yeah. 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 Got a little yeah. sweat going. <laughs> Got a little sweat going. Okay, so the RSR strut also gives you the ability, if you look at the instructions, to change from a negative or from a positive, sorry, to a negative camber by just loosening off these four Allen screws and basically uh, moving the plate 180 degrees and bolting it back down again will give you more negative offset. Which is pretty awesome, eh? It is. It's so you get awesome. a little bit of, you get a little bit of adjustability with the, the factory shock with the shock with the factory location because of the smaller pin and also by moving this plate you get 
as more well. adjustability. More adjustability. So you can get more, you can get negative offset or stay with the positive factory setup, or more negative, and then also you have the dampening control. Yeah. Right height, firmness, damp. Pretty amazing stuff. Yeah. That's why it's called RSR Best Eye. So we finally got this side in, and then uh, Victor has gone ahead and ins installed the uh, sway bar end link supplied by RSR. Now that he's got this side in, we're gonna go ahead and install this side in, and we're good to go. So we finally finished the front, and it looks just amazing. This is actually supposedly the harder part, but it's all finished, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Honda did a pretty fantastic job in uh, engineering this uh, suspension system here, and look, look at the, all the material that they use. It's just amazing, you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start on the rear, but before we can do that, we're gonna have to remove the inner liner so we can get to the two bolts up top. There's gonna be nine push clips and I believe 10 Phillips all the way around here. All right, so for the rear suspension, Honda engineered it so nicely to service or to like work on. It's so easy. There's like five bolts and then uh, we can have the shock and the spring out of this uh, assembly really easy. I'm going to show you guys right now. So the first one you would want to remove is the uh, we got the 17 here another 17 here holding the shock on and then the 12 holding the uh, sway bar end link and then the two 12s on the top and then that's it and then this control arm will swing down. Simple as that. First of all before we replace this one you have to uh, take this one out first or sorry we have to take the spring out first because this bolt, this 17 mil, is so long that it'll hit this spring. Now we have to get the jack to support it, just so we can lower down the spring. So that's done. So now we just connect this. So this, this here, on this one here, you basically gotta pull the safety and then pull it out. And then it's stuck in the shock here. So the best for that is a pair of needle nose to pull it out. You gotta just pinch it in the back and it'll come out. Yeah, so we gotta uh, remove the factory spring. Now we have access to that other 17 mil behind it. Old man, old man strength, eh? <laughs> and up here, two 12 mils. So for the RSRs uh, coilovers, we will need the uh, factory top hat here from the uh, factory strut. Yeah, on there nice and tight. Yeah. There we go. And this is a 14 mil. This one needs a little bit of a dead blow hammer. <laughs> Normally this is stuck to it onto the strut, but we don't use the, uh, what is that called? Uh, Factory, um, I can't remember the name now, but yeah, we don't need that. So with the RSR uh, strut mount here, there is a left and a right because of the bracket here for the uh, retain, um, the- uh, Electronic suspension. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so match the blue dot or the little indent here, because only one side has it. Yep. With the decal, so that this comes out the right side. Yes. So the bracket just faces forward uh, to the vehicle, front of the vehicle. That's how you know yeah. which is left, which is right. And the other thing you, uh, well, then you put the factory cover back on to the top. Don't forget the dust cap. Yep. And the other thing is uh, with the delete, uh, not delete, but the um, dampening, there is 
it is labeled, this one just fell out. There's a left and a right, so don't mix those up to you guys. And these basically, so what you do with these ones is there is a tab here marked. So you lock it in there. Put that in there. There is a rubber grommet. Basically, you just swing it around and install a grommet that way. Now, RSR made it very, very simple to install and it's very straightforward. It's really hard to uh, screw this one up, you guys. Very good engineering. And that is... And then your adjustability is down below. Yeah. And then for warranty purposes, because this the label is actually on the inside, so remember to record that down because you won't be able to see it once you, you install the strut. Uh, on the front one, it's actually on the outside, so you can act, have access to it. So uh, don't forget to record that down for your, your own records. All right, so next step, you wanna put the uh, bottom of the strut back into the knuckle because when you put the spring in, you won't be able to get that uh, 17 mil bolt back in. So for the spring, the rubber goes against the spring and the uh, top hat or whatever the adjuster, and then the, the uh, Teflon, Teflon, nylon goes on top. Yeah. And that's the same for the top and bottom. This one will torque it to uh, 51 foot pounds. Well, it's a 12, and then you have to put this underneath the uh, brake line here. Right? Let me get in here right there. Okay. So, get the 12 now. so for this bracket here, for both sides, they connect it to that 12 mil. And I think that's the brake line, right? No, no, that's the, yeah. It's no, that's the. Electronic the for electronic the dampener. Brake. Yeah. Yeah, electronic for the dampener or the e brake, one of the two. So they re. It's on a trailing arm. Yeah. Basically, you pop it off and you put this in, in there in a little tab and then you put it back on. Just like that. You tie wrapped it here, here, here. And he ran it. Let me just go behind here. Behind the trailing arm here. And then he plugged it in to the uh, factory uh, active dampener right here. So it's all nicely, neatly tucked in now. So the last step before we put the liner back in is we're going to put the 12 mils back into the uh, sway bar end link here. And then we're uh, all complete. And then we're going to torque them down to 30 foot pounds. So I was confirming with uh, Envision Auto Imports. So TI-2000 springs are actually titanium composite, so that's why the magnet's stuck to it. But the reason why they use titanium, it's not, well, it's guaranteed not to sag. And that's the problem with some of these springs uh, of competitors. They tend to sag in the future, but um, RSRs are guaranteed not to sag. Look at that, so we're all done. We're all, everything's all buttoned up and look at how nice that is, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. RSR did a really fantastic job on this uh, set of coilovers. And uh, yeah, now all we're gonna do is put the liner back on, put the wheels back on, and uh, we'll see how far it drops down. Whoa! This is nice, you guys. Street use? I think this is the perfect ride height. Wow, you guys. It's something about, it's so satisfying. When you get to put something all together and it works or it turns out perfect, it just oh, satisfying, you guys. Look at that. Okay, we'll get Victor to give the final measurements. The final measurements. We're going in at 25.5.
So one inch drop, eh? Yeah. One inch drop, you guys. And I, street, street use, this is perfect. It will allow us to clear. I agree. Not ridiculously. Car show? Yeah. We need a mod. mod car show, car one more show. inch. One more yeah, inch. One more inch of a car show, yeah. Okay, let's do the rear one. Drum roll. 25 and a half. Damn, spot on, eh? Spot on. <laughs> No, that's fitment. Oh, right, no, that's math. <laughs> that's math, eh? That's math. We were right on. That's awesome, guys. All right, you guys. So that's pretty much it for this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a long one. Victor and I didn't want to skip out any, you know, crucial parts so that you guys can have an easier way to install it. And it's it's pretty easy. RSR just made a killer set of coil over to you guys. Uh, so we decided to do a two-part uh, vlog. So next week, we're gonna just show you guys how to actually set it and dial it in and just how to actually adjust the coilovers just so that it just makes it everything easy for you guys. So tune in, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything and we'll see you guys next week. See ya.